Mongoose Jake here with what will be the, the last of the unboxing and initial review videos of the Busby Blasters released as Walmart exclusives under the Adventure Force label. This one being the Arsenal Pack. It says Value Blaster Set. And what it is, is a bolt action rifle style magazine fed blaster as well as a pistol style magazine fed blaster. Comes with a package that includes a sight, three magazines, they are of the eight round magazine style, and 25 of the long distance darts. Now I'll get this thing out, we'll take a look at what comes in the package. With it out of the package, of course, this is what you receive. You have three eight shot magazines, and 25 of the darts, which is fantastic, just overloading, because I, I do wonder, what's the odd one? Because three eight round magazines would be 24. But hey, never complain about extra darts. Even if the long distance starts, they do go very, very far, but they fly like crazy. You got what is one of my absolute favorite sights in all of Nerf. I, I absolutely love this thing. Nerf never made anything quite like it. And it is basically a sight with a little crosshair imprinted on the front. Uh, it's got clear plastic at the back and clear plastic at the front, but the crosshairs are printed onto this, this lens here. As you can see, it shine there in the light. But this is one of my favorite. It's it's nice, it's functional, it looks good. And it slides on the rails of any Busby Blaster that has a rail. Very nice. And it's not too big, not too small. But here we have what is basically a reshelling of the Night Attack. And that is a fantastic blaster to be redoing. Because personally, this grip is new. And that is chunky. I mean, that's, that grip's perfect. Nice, nice grip up on top to grab for uh, priming and firing. And then, of course, this blaster, which they don't have names on them. The bolt action blaster is a uh, redoing of the Predator. Of course, just prime it back and then push the bolt forward. And you'll have to have the bolt open in order to insert a magazine. Here we are. Slide that thing on in. And for you, those of you that look, as you notice, these magazines are the eight round capacity and they have, you gotta line it up. They have the flippable feature. And as far as I can tell, all new Busby magazines do that I have seen, which is very nice. Now what I'm gonna do is I'll turn the camera off, head outside, I'll do a firing demonstration of both blasters and then I'm gonna play around with them for a while off camera and once I've had enough experience with them, I'm going to come back and give my opinions on these blasters. So stay tuned. Okay, here we are on my back porch, back deck here. Um, I don't have names for these, so I'm going to go by, at least for the pistol, which is, again, like a resh like I said, it's a reshelled night attack, or the Light Master if it's Busby. It says BBT1902. So I'm going to call it, that's, I'm guessing, Busby Toys 1902. So from now on, I'm christening this as the 1902 pistol. It's the Buzz B Toys 1902 pistol. That's what I'm going to refer to it as from now on. But as always, the holly tree off of my back railing is about 65 to 70 feet away. I do have a full magazine of eight shots. I'm going to put four level and then I'm going to throw a few up angle just to see how far they'll go. And I will do a proper range test and put it on the channel here over the next day or two of a number of blasters, including this one. But here we are, that nose dive. Long distance starts don't go where you want them. But a few level shots are, well, <laughs> that's circled around, but it is out to the holly tree. Under it at least. I'll go off to the side. That was at least an 80 to 90 foot shot. That was about a 10 foot shot because it hit the power lines that are here behind my porch. That dart's gone for at least a little while. It's up in the holly tree. And last one. I don't have a clue where that went. Okay, on to the rifle. And again, I, I don't have a name anywhere on this. It was just the arsenal pack. But it's the rifle from the Arsenal pack, which basically it's a magazine fed Busby Predator. So here we are. 
hit the holly tree. So that would have been easily a 65 foot flat shot. And of course my porch is up in the air. That helps. That went under the holly tree. So that's about 65, 70 feet. And again, actually being pretty consistent with these. And it dove short, but now I'm gonna fire off. That that far drainage ditch is at about 120, 20, 125 feet maybe. I don't think we're gonna reach it, but that's just for reference. That's how I can estimate if a shot's going about 80 or 90 feet. Because if it makes it all the way down there within 30 feet like that one just did, that's about a 90 foot shot. Angle it up. And that one sailed and then fluttered. And last shot. That took a hard left turn and actually came back almost at us like a boomerang. And it hit the holly tree. But there's an idea of how they fire. Again, it's a nice simple bolt action. And with the 1902 pistol, nice traditional top prime slide, which I am a big fan of. But I'm going to play with these a little bit more and I will come back here in the next segment to give you my opinions on them. Coming back here to give you my final thoughts and opinions on the Arsenal 2-pack uh, Blaster Value Pack. Now, I'm going to approach this as both a full kit, as the whole Arsenal pack, and also break it down individually for you. And I'm going to start with what is my favorite blaster of the two, that is what I'm going to forever now call the 1902. Because the only designation I was given on this is it says BBT-1902, Busby Toys 1902 model. So we'll call it that, much like Colt's famous uh, 1911. But this blaster here, this blaster here, just by itself, would almost be worthy of the price tag. The performance on this thing, basically, it took the high performance of the previous generations of the Reaper, or the Champion, and the much more recent and current Night Attack, or also known as the Light Master, which is the blaster available right now with a integrated light. That that blaster basically reworked into a different shell with a even more comfortable grip, because check that grip out. That grip there is adult sized. It looks a little weird, but that is extremely comfortable. That is big, chunky, and full length to where my hand does not fall off the end and I wear a XL or double XL size glove. And the whole pistol just feels very comfortable to grab, very smooth in function. And here's one thing. I'm going to show you this on camera. Both Nerf and aftermarket magazine compatible, as well as drums. So now you're running around with a 25 shot pistol, which now I just need Busby to send over a couple of their 30 round drums for testing because I haven't got my hands on those yet. But as of now, with the only drum available, this thing can hold it. And and so does the rifle, which I'll move on to here in a second. But you have a very neat form factor. I actually like the looks of this shell. That's very personal opinion, but compared to the Night Attack, which is currently $10 through Walmart and Walmart's website, this shell, I think, is a little more attractive. It has the blue and the black to kind of break up the profile instead of just being green. And it's got a rail on top so you can put different attachments. Very smooth acting. It is completely ambidextrous. So if you want to throw in the magazine there, you can release that easily because the magazine release button is center line. And this thing is just fantastic. Put on the chronograph to compare it because that's how is a very good standardized way of measuring the performance of anything that fires a projectile and this example here was averaging over 82 feet per second with a mixture of darts i use the included long distance darts as well as busby's precise pros nerf's own uh, elite and accustrike as well as a few aftermarket third-party darts and it just performed admirably with it with zero jams in over two hours of usage and I, I can't find anything to complain about this. I absolutely love this pistol. I, I would almost buy the pack just for this thing. That's how good it is. It beats any spring-fed uh, blaster that Nerf currently has on, on their lineup right now. 
This thing is incredibly good. It took everything good about Busby and it put on a comfortable grip. And if somebody doesn't think so, I don't care. This thing is awesome. I love this blaster. I hope that they sell it individually for those of us who just want to buy this. This thing's incredible. And I, I just, I have nothing bad to say about this one at all. Moving on to the rifle. And it's kind of come as a surprise. I don't have anything bad to say about this either. I'm just going to get that as a spoiler out of the way right now. It, this is what it is. It is a fun little bolt action rifle with a magazine which is an improvement that the I love the Predator and the Alpha Rogue for what they were. They're fun little bolt action rifles. They're single shot models. This one just simply adds a magazine. And oh yeah, it's Nerf drum compatible, which also means it's compatible with aftermarket magazines uh, such as worker magazines. So yeah, you can have yourself a high capacity bolt action rifle, which is cool. It may not be for everybody, but for me, that's pretty cool. And there's gonna be a ton of kids out there who'd love this. And just as a word of warning, this thing has good power. I mean, you're not handing, if you hand this off to your kid and say, hey, let's go out in the backyard and have a little fun. You're not giving them something wimpy. <laughs> They're gonna be able to compete with you because this thing itself is averaging about 73 feet per second, which ironically is better than Nerf's average of about 70 feet per second not by a lot not by enough to notice it but it's surprising that something that's really more intended for the younger portion of the uh, blaster hobby is actually performing fairly well it's not the 82 of the the night the model 1902 but it's still more than good enough they can fling some foam and not be handicapped at while doing it by a, a underperforming blaster now this thing will actually give any blaster out there in stock form will run for its money. And that's all you're asking for is you just want to give give uh, somebody something they can have some fun with, whether it's a loaner blaster for your buddy or you're giving it to your kid to have some fun with you. But it looks good. It's got good construction. And I will I will make mention of this, this rifle and the pistol, the 1902. I do actually think and feel that these have a little bit better build quality than that Frantic Fury that I just recently unboxed and reviewed. The plastic feels a little bit uh, better quality, a little thicker. The build construction is a little tighter and there's no, no creaking like that thing, no loose parts like the stock on it was. This one feels good. The 1902 felt amazing. I have zero complaints. They absolutely hit a Grand Slam, bases loaded, home run with this pack. Being able to give two good blasters, with magazines, I'm gonna get this Nerf drum out of here because it's not sponsored by Nerf. <laughs> but they give you two magazines for one blaster and a spare for the other, and they are all the uh, clippable ones. And to get all of this for under 20 bucks, you get 25 darts as well, you get the little scope on top of it. There's nothing to complain about. This is fantastic. Both are good performing blasters. Both are overperforming compared to Nerf. All for under 20 bucks. Yeah, it's just a few pennies under, but it's under $20. So, I don't care if you're getting it for a couple of friends to have fun, getting it for a parent and a kid to go out in the backyard, or if you have two kids and you're just saying, hey, here's this, go at it, have some fun outside in the backyard, burning off some energy. There is literally nobody who could go wrong with this. And that's my final review on it. It's... There's literally nobody who couldn't have fun with this. And that's the whole point of something put out on the market to play with, is to have fun. And uh, with my final sentence being, one heck of a deal for two good blasters that everybody can enjoy. This is Mongoose Jake. I hope you enjoyed this, and I thank you for watching.